the oceans are green. Not just blue, but the most beautiful emerald green you've ever seen. Most of us are used to divers on social media in the clearest blue water one can imagine. We're transfixed by tropical oases teeming with life. In reality, life blooms in the color green. Large swathes of the ocean run green with life. Teeny tiny organisms called phytoplankton form the basis for entire marine ecosystems. These little green goblins combine sunlight with nutrients, CO2, and water to create life. You remember that equation we all learned in the fifth grade? Six CO2 plus six H2O yields C6H12O6 plus six O2. That's photosynthesis. And these diatoms and dinoflagellates are textbook oxygen producers. We can thank them for every other breath we take. Not only do they provide half the air we breathe, they provide energy for entire marine food webs. They get this green color from chlorophyll levels peering through their clear skin. Where giant patches of ocean run green with chlorophyll, you'll find organisms that eat those chlorophyll-packed capsules. Krill and anchovies feast in these conditions. And what eats krill and anchovies? Well, just about everything you can imagine. These large green areas occur where ocean meets land. Giant forces of wind and waves meet steep underwater cliffs along our continental shelves. Two titans, land and sea, collide. Coastal environments are home to some of the richest people in the world. They also happen to be the richest oceanographic environments in the world too. Kelp forests, mangroves, coral reefs, and feeding grounds for marine predators all conflict with our most frequently used waters. This is where problems occur, where whales get hit by boats and entangled in fishing gear, where overfishing takes place right outside our windows, and where pollution runs rampant and our impact to the oceans is the greatest. Without these green spaces, our oceans look drastically different. And without our oceans, our lives look different as well. Let's strive to establish at least a third of our critical coastal environment as strict marine protected areas. The blue, the brown, the red, and the green would certainly appreciate it.